No holds barred, no count outs, no disqualifications, no rope breaks. The squared circle may not contain these two, but they do ultimately have to finish it all in there. Everything is legal in this match, which means we're probably about to see some things that would actually be considered quite illegal out in the real world. Oh, hard impact in the corner. The WWE Universe giving him an extra shot of adrenaline. Makes him pay with a counter. He's taking this to the floor now. the barricade. Cash first across the barricade. Back in the ring now. He's doing a whole lot of gesturing and it could cost him. Oh, a swift takedown. Stop gloating and put your attention back to the match. No, oh, oh, that'll break his arm. Vicious. As easy as it may seem to come into a no-DQ match with no plan other than to get violent, strategy can play a role in this. Now's the time for a superstar to get inventive, to get creative when it comes to inflicting damage on their opponents. Double leg takedown, got the shoulders down. Oh, it turns it around and has the pin. Gets reversed, shoulders down. Oh, flips the leverage, shoulders down. Gets reversed. He got close there. It could be do or die time. Counters. This could be an opportunity. Shoulder tackle. Elbow drop. Piercing. Trapping the arm. Over for the Northern Light suplex. Breaker. And into the count. Two. And they kick out at two. Very close. Fatigue clearly set again. And Tony didn't see that coming. Kick to the gut. Hoisting up there. A powerful pop handle slam. That could be curtains for Tony. Just how taking flight from the middle rope with an elbow. Talk about cocky, gloating after placing the knee on the back of the neck. And he's taking this to the outside now. He leaves the ring and there's no count outs in this one. If you're looking to cause quick, sharp damage, you can't go wrong with the kendo stick. Oh, okay, consider that a harsh lesson. Back suplex, spine crushing. Oh, strong knee connects. He's looking a little off balance. Oh, geez, nasty kick to the face. And now thrown back into the ring. No telling what's underneath the ring tonight. He's got his hands on the bat. One home run swing could end this match. Before that attempt. Saw it coming and got out of there. He's up at the plate now. He may get the three count right here. This is it. And he fights it off. How in the world did he kick out? Elbow drop. Piercing. Antonio is really dialed in right now. You can't expect any sympathy from D'Angelo here. Stirring back to his feet, but he might not know where he is. From the top. Fist directly to the gut. He finally creates some more offense for himself. Time now to get his energy up and claw back into the fight. Boom. He's outside the ring now. Hope he's got a plan. A table, the WWE Universe is going wild. Caught in a bad position here. 
Raining down those right hands, trying to escape. Power bomb. I've got to say, the amount of punishment we've seen in the match would have already ended most superstars. The level of resilience we're seeing is off the charts. Punch straight to the face, stays off the attack. Sent straight into the barricade. Good luck catching your breath after that. Of course, you need suplex. Wrist clutch suplex, perfect. What? Perfect time to attack when his guard is down. Brought back into the ring from the floor now. And he's pulled the ring apron up, looking under there for something. And here comes Old Faithful. The steel chair is in hand. Oh, D'Angelo anticipated that. He's in a little bit of trouble now. Not a bad place to be in, but the longer this goes, the more trouble a superstar exposes himself to. Taken down with a body slam. Looks like he has something planned with his table, guys. Oh, what a no. He's one step ahead there. Here's the pump handle. Suplex. Launched. Here's the cover for the win. Forces the shoulder up after two. A long two and a half in the waning moments of this match. This is not going to be good. Hoist it. Him up. Suplex. That table exploded. I don't think we should be worried about the table, Saxon. There's a human being under the wreckage. Boom. Knee trembler. I don't like the look in his eye here, folks. Taking flight. Oh, compressing them with a splash. The WWE Universe showing the love for these superstars who have given them so much tonight. Taking this to the floor. He climbs into the ring. He's staring his opponent down, getting into that zone. Avoiding the clothesline. Flatliner! Oh, toss across. Right into a drop. The elbow to the arm. Going right after the neck. Neck breaker. Just pounding away right in the face. My God. Swinging neck breaker. And he has free reign to the outside with no count outs to worry about. stick into the mix. Oh, you just know he wants to cross-check his opponent all across the arena. And he has to start protecting himself from attacks to that area. Oh, colliding with a barricade. Oh, my goodness. Draped across the barricade. And now Tony is getting beaten down. Tony might be feeling a bit rattled. And he tosses him back in now. What a counter by Tony. And that might be the start of the momentum swing Tony needed. Yeah, D'Angelo able to momentarily stop the bleed, but will he also gain command of this match? That's gotta be it. There's two! Yeah, no, he doesn't get the three. How? How? What are they attempting to do here? Looking for a suplex that turns it in toward Yaranagi. Tony can taste victory now. Two. He kicks out somehow. You gotta be kidding me. Surviving that maneuver is absolutely amazing. When your opponent can hang after all that, you're wondering if earning a win might just be impossible. He just barely dodges. These superstars must be feeding off the WWE Universe. This place is starting to rock. Hits to the 
coral like that will render you useless. Ooh, a direct headshot. Just sickening. He's heading back to the ring. Take a look back at these guys in action. Here is your winner, Jesse James. This loss was far from the result Tony D'Angelo expected tonight. I bet Tony D'Angelo will be giving his associates a real earful about this loss.